This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip to tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members-only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Lamar Action Jackson. He had an amazing day versus the Detroit Lions, and the entire team did, but specifically Lamar Jackson. He's had an amazing last month, if you let me tell it. Uh, stats for yesterday's game, he was 21 for 27, 357 yards, three touchdowns, one rushing, and an amazing 100 55.8 passer rating. And if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, he has four games of over 150 plus passer rating, which puts him up there with a certain GOAT. And I know Tom has more than that, if I'm not mistaken, but that puts him up there with a certain GOAT. And um, that's some rarefied air. But what I want to do is I want to kind of give you some context to what you're about to see on film. Let me bring up this chart and kind of explain what I did. So I found this chart on Next Gen Stats on NFL uh, Network or NFL.com. And what I did was I looked at the passes that were beyond, meaning they were thrown 10 yards down the field. There were nine of them. Lamar was eight of nine on passes that traveled 10 yards down the field. He only had one incomplete pass. Only one. Only one. With two touchdowns. And so I went to go find these plays in the game. And I wanted to bring them to you and see what happened on those plays. And so that's what you're about to see. Those passes that were beyond 10 yards down the field. And let's take a look at, you know, how our quarterback, who they said can't pass. And there was a certain YouTuber out there that made a video that said, make him pass. We'll be all right. Well, they made him pass. He was 27. I'm sorry, 21 of 27, 357 yards. Three TDs, are almost perfect passer rating, and beats the dog you-know-what out of the Detroit Lions. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm Coach Evans. Roll the intro. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. But before we get started, like the video. If it's your first time here, and you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2023 season. But let's get into it. First play. All right, first play, lines in the one high safety. And they come out, the uh, Ravens come out with this combo, the shallow dig and a drag concept. And they're playing cover three to it. You get the shallow by Mark. You can get a dig by... Um, Zay, and you get a post by Odell. And that's the reads. Your first read is the shallow by Mark. Your second read is the dig by Zay. And then if they vacate the middle of the field, you got the post by Odell. Now, they do vacate the middle of the field, but they vacated so hard on the shallow. Look at the, look at the post guy. That's your post safety. Watch how hard he comes down on Mark. Reason being because the linebackers bite so hard. On the play action. Look at the two linebackers. They're going to bite so hard on the play action that Mark clears them. And he has to, well, he think he has to come and take that because nobody's guarding him. He's going to take that that shallow so hard and leave the middle of the field wide open for Zay coming on the, on the dig. Easy. Easy. All that space. Now, Lamar makes a great throw to get it over the linebacker. You can't really tell on this view, but when we watch it from the end zone view, watch the throw Lamar makes to get it over the linebacker's head. And Zay does a good job of running after the catch. A great job of running after the catch. It's a great job of them giving the Lions something to chase after. See, the linebackers have to chase after that play fake, which allows Mark to get behind the linebackers. And now, there's a chain reaction. Because the two, 34 and 55 have to chase the, the play action because you get a little power action off of it. Now, the safety has to, in turn, come down on Mark Andrews. See the safety coming down to take that? Now, there's a whole lot of field behind it. Even though the linebackers do do a good job of getting back in coverage, they don't get back far enough. If they were back at that point 
When Mark came through, the safety wouldn't have to come down and take him, and then Zay would be covered. Look at Lamar just float this ball over 55. Just enough that he can't get it right into Zay's hands, and now Zay can run after the catch. Great touch, great anticipation, great route concept. Let's go to the next one. Out on this one. The Lions playing an off front. They bring the safety up to kind of look like the third linebacker, but they're playing cover one behind it. You're going to get a speed out by Odell. Zay's running the motion dig. Mark's going to run a, a delay quick out. He's going to kind of foot fight the line of scrimmage and run the quick out. Bateman's going to run a dig. O-line did a good job of picking up the stunt, but we're going to see that from the end zone. And that's what you got. You're delayed out by Mark. Zay's going to come in motion and run a dig behind it. Then you're going to get a straight dig by Bateman. I will tell you this. I, will, I, for, I forgot to mention this from the jump. I should have. Most of the graphics you see from this month have, they've been pink or purple for two different reasons. And I, and I haven't mentioned this all month. Pink, obviously, Breast con Cancer Awareness Month. Purple for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So most of my graphics for this month, I've tried to make pink or purple for those two reasons. I don't know if nobody even knows that or not, but that's the reason for them being pink or purple. And I've tried to make them pink or purple for those two reasons. But just so you know. You see the delay, delay out by Mark, letting Zay, I mean not let not Zay, letting Bateman clear. And then with them blitzing, the line's on cover one, got a five-man pressure, and we pick it up well. The O-line picked it up well. And by the O-line picking it up well, look at the void they leave in the middle of the field because they blitz. The only person you got left is that deep safety. The only person you got left. That's like candy from a baby. Look at the middle of the field. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing. The guy that's guarding Odell, I mean, not Odell, that Bateman is right here. He's wide open. Wide open. Got a good ball. Caught it. And honestly, honestly, had he been led, had he been led out in front of him, wrong graphic. <laughs> had he been laid out in front of him, he might could have went on with that sideline. Honestly. Just, I mean, it's a good throw. Good catch, but had he had the had the ball been out in front of him, he probably could have went on up the sideline and did a little, did a little more damage, honestly. But not nitpicking, just saying. Just saying. But anything to get Bateman some confidence, I'm cool with it. Anything to get Bateman some confidence, I'm cool with it. We'll take it. We'll take it because he's been struggling lately. But we will take it. Watch the O-line pick this up. In particular, the Simpson, Linderbaum, and Zyla. Because Simpson and Zyla have been struggling. But watch them pick this up. This is a thing of beauty. The, the, who is, who, I'm trying to see what linebacker this is. This is Campbell. I think it's this is this guy right here, Campbell, 46. Watch him try to swing all the way over here to Simpson. Watch him pick it up. Because Simpson hadn't been picking these up. That's why I wanted to highlight it. Boom. All the way over there and pick that up. They slant hard to our right, O-line's left. I'm sorry, our right, D-line's left. Taking it, taking it. And watch Simpson. Simpson bangs on it and gets his head around in just enough time to pick up Campbell. And now, look, you got three for three. Look at that. He picked it up. The ends got their guy. Well, I don't know what Moses is doing over here. Moses is getting beat. But Lamar standing there. Gus got a guy. We picked up the blitz. Perfect. That's a good pocket for the time being. That's a good pocket for the time being. But Bateman did a good job of winning his route and Lamar get the ball out. It's a good job by the old line of picking up the stunt, picking up the blitz. Let's go to this third play. Lions playing cover one again. I mean, a lot of these you'll see with them in cover one. I guess they thought they could play cover one and get home with four or a blitz or whatever, but it failed. Cover one and the two robbers. You got a low hole player, and you got your deep, your deep cover one guy. Anytime I put robber on the screen, from my point of view, that means you got a low hole guy. Cover one means you got one safety back there trying to, you know, take away the deep balls. And anytime I see cover one, normally your your corners or your slot player is going to play outside leverage to try to funnel stuff to the middle. Normally.
And right there at that point, nobody's open. Nobody. Everything's at the top. It, it's covered. It's covered. But Bateman's sticking with it. Bateman's running this deep curl. Bateman is like the last option on this. And, and Lamar gets him. But what I want to see is the progression from Lamar. Wait, wait till we get to the end zone view. And you can kind of see Lamar go through the progression. And good thing Bateman stuck with his route and didn't give up on it. Because he's the third option at least. Watch this. First option to the left. Not there. Come back to the middle, which I think is Aguilar. Running a little dig. Not there. Plaster. Lamar is off platform. Look at his feet. His feet are not pointing toward uh, Bateman. But look how strong his arm is. This is a great throw off platform. That's a dime off platform to Bateman. Lamar went through his progression. Bateman ran his route at the proper depth, and the timing worked out right. Let's go to this next one. Into the red zone. This is our touchdown. Now they're playing again. Man to man. Cover one robber again. You got your low hole guy. You got your deep guy. I, I don't know what made them think they could just play man to man and get the pressure. I guess they didn't depend on our old line being as good as they were yesterday. Again, you got your, you got your mans. Got your matchups. Got your matchups. You see all the matchups. You got your low hole player. You got your free safety. You got all your matchups across the board. You got your linebacker on the back. I guess they thought Hutchinson was just going to dominate. Look at, look at Moses doing a good job on Hutchinson down there. Look at that. Look, look at Moses down there whooping Hutchinson. Look at him. Look at Moses doing a job on Hutchinson. Now, at this point, we got to go in the scramble drill because none of those guys are open. Now, you got one of those, your, your middle of the field safety. He's going to come up to take Lamar because Lamar has a lot of room to run. So initially you're thinking, okay, Lamar's going to run. I got to come up and take that because everybody else is in man. But the, the spot he vo the spot he voids is the exact spot Nelson Aguilar runs to watch. He's going to leave the middle of the field and watch Nelly just replace him. Here it comes right here. He's going to attack Lamar. Nelly replaces him. That's where the ball goes. Touchdown. This is the play Lamar had like nine seconds to throw on. Credit to the O-line. Major credit to the O-line. I know some people were back there like, what is, what is Odell doing? Odell couldn't be a factor. Odell stepped out. So rather than run around and, and risk Lamar throwing him the ball, he just stayed still. Because once he stepped out, he's, he can't be the first to touch the ball. So he did a good thing by just standing back there doing nothing. You see the referee's head on the ground back there? But Nelson did a great job, a smart job, of replacing the free safety when he came up to take Lamar. Look like we're putting it together, ladies and gentlemen. We're putting it together. On this one. Backed up. Got another one high look. When Ace coming out. And what on this one, you're gonna get a um You're gonna get a clear out by who is that? That's Zay. You're gonna get Mark on a little rail route, and you're gonna get a deep over by Odell. Gonna get a little play action to kind of get the linebackers to come up. And this is this is a traditional Ravens route. Normally, this is Mark running this sort of clear route, but this time you got Odell running it. I mean this over route. But you got Odell running the over this time. You got Zay pushing the clear out. Now, I highlighted this guy because he's untouched. Watch your quarterback stand in the pocket and deliver this ball. This guy's right. He, he was touched by Ricard early, but Ricard had to get out in his route. Right now, he's untouched to Lamar. Watch Lamar stand in this pocket and make this throw to Odell. That's a good quarterbacking right there. Your QB stood in, stood in the pipeline and made that throw. Watch it. Watch the QB. He don't panic. He don't get flustered. He don't get quickie feet. He don't get choppy feet. Stand in the pipeline, deliver this ball. Look at that. On point. Where it need to be. Over a defender in front of another. Over 55. In front of the safety. On point. And he gets it to where Odell is not at risk. Odell can catch it. Get Find somebody so he can kind of protect himself. And get down. Tell me that ain't high, high quarterback play right there. High level quarterback play. Let's go to the next one. Now, they're in the R front. Now, 46, who is right 
here. This is your spy. Now, he's going to attack the line and kind of hang around the line of scrimmage like he's not a spy. But trust me, he's a spy. That's Campbell. That's the rookie, I think. He's a spy. Just watch this kind of muddle rush. He's spying. I'll take eight over four to six in the day of the week. See, look at that rush. He ain't really going away. He's spying. Now, on this guy, they playing a little cover four-ish look. Look, you know our favorite route with Mark is kind of this, this deep over-ish look. He's going to try to take that. But Mark's going to stick him and then hit up the field, and it's going to kind of make him look bad. But the thing is, we ain't throwing that. We're throwing this deep out to Zay. Watch Zay pat these feet and turn that corner around up the top. Pop, pop, pop. Turn that guy around. Ooh, and the ball's on time. The ball's on time. Mm-mm. That's what timing looks like, boy. That's what timing looks like to me. Top of the route. Protection not bad. Not bad for everybody, but but um Oh, I remember this play. I remember this play doing the what's called. If it's not for this chip by Gus Edwards, I mean not Gus Edwards by uh Justice Hill, we might not get this ball off. Look at this chip by Justice. This chip saves this play. Why is this chip by Justice? Chip. That chip right there. Is what, what saves this play. That gives Lamar just enough time to get this ball off. Because Morgan Moses is struggling on this one with Aiden Hutchinson. He's struggling. That chip by Justice gives Lamar just enough time to get this ball off. And it ends up being a perfect timing. The perfect timing. I forgot all about that chip. But I remember watching it live and saying that. But everybody else is good. Everybody else is good. But they're only rushing three. But that chip. Versus Aiden. Mm. That that little pause. Just enough. Just enough. And that's everybody working together. That's a part of the offense. That chip is part of the offense. But let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Now on this one. We had just ran outside zone for a nice gash. We had just ran another zone play. Had gashed him. So we, you know, and we come in with 13 personnel. This is Ricard, this is Kolar, this is Mark. So right now you prime for another run. And then we come out here with this. QB run. You you, you know, everybody's going to come up. They're going to come up like it's QB run, it's QB run. You lead him with um, Justice Hill. In, in my mind right now, I'm thinking QB outside run. QB outside run. The O-line do a great job of selling it. The Nobody just goes downfield. And you just see Mark just kind of sneak his way through. Sneak his way through. Like he pass off Dan Campbell. Like he's going to block 55. He passes that off. The corner's coming up to make the tackle. And now he sneaks right on out. Boom, over the top. Over the top. Did a great job of setting it up on this drive. This is, I think this is the third play of that drive. He did a great job of setting it up. The old line did a great job of staying flat. John Simpson peeling out to make sure none, nobody comes backside. Mark did a great job of selling it. Great job of selling it. Stacking plays, man. We ain't used to stack plays. We stacked on that drive. We stacked on that drive. I think it led to a Gus Edwards touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. This is this play right here to me was just a throw. I think we were trying to force feed Odell on this one. And we just threw old fade up. We was trying to force feed Odell, you know, to get numbers at this point. You know, you understand. You're trying, you're trying to hook your boy up at some point. But let's go to the last one. This is the very last one. On this one, you're getting one of my favorite plays, three-man snag, and I talk about it, and I talk about it, and I talk about it. They've added a little wrinkle to it. They've started to send Ricard out on the swing route to protect to protect the swing route. So Ricardo will come out here and kind of serve as like a blocker to protect the swing route for the back. But you still got your no, your number one route with uh, this will be Bateman running the little snag. Likely will be running the corner. And really they're reading the alley defender. But for this one, Lamar kind of had his eyes set on Odell. Odell's going to run a slant to the bottom. And he's going to put it in a narrow, narrow, narrow window. Just watch and see what I tell you. This window is small. This is a small window he's going to fit this in. Boom. 
all hands, and we know Odell's a hand catcher. And it, it's even more impressive when you see it from the end zone view. Because I think 46 starts at the line of scrimmage. And when he drops out, he almost drops right into the slant window. He drops almost right into the slant window. And Lamar throws a dime to Odell. It's like an 11-yard pass. This is why, that's why it's on here. See, 46 starts at the line of scrimmage. And look at this window. Look. That's some tight window throw from eight. It's a tight window throw. But he can't pass. So they say. So they say. But he can't pass. Okay. And that's all I got for you today. I really just wanted to take a look at Lamar's game. Really, him throwing the ball down the field. Because we all, well, not we, they all say that he's not a passer. I think he's out to prove that he is a pocket passer. We all know he can do it. He just didn't have the opportunity to do it with the former OC. The offense was building upon building upon building. And I gave them four weeks to kind of figure it out. Uh, the Steelers game sh probably should have looked like this, but it didn't because of the drops. I think going forward, the games will start to look like this. When we play some of the better teams, we may not be as polished as this, but they still should be along these lines. Now that we know what the offense can be, it just needs to keep ascending from here. Um, we got the weapons. We got one of the better best quarterbacks in the game. We got... O line that can be good, probably not the best, but they can be good. We just, we got what we need, you know. A piece here and there would help. I mean, would help. You know, who knows what that piece is? Um, who am I to say what that piece is and whatnot? But no excuses, man. You you now know what you have and what it can look like. The key is to put that on the field as much as possible. Is it gonna look like that every week? No. Do I expect it to look like that every week? Yes, <laughs> but I know it's not. <laughs> but I know it's not. But this is, you know, I just wanted to take a look at his passes down the field, the 10-plus yarders, like not not the 80-yarder to Gus because that was a two-yard pass or the 30-yarder to Ricard because that was like a four-yard pass. The balls that he actually threw down the field and the concepts and him going through his progressions and stuff like that, the actual stuff that people say he couldn't do that now he's showing you that he can do. So salute to you eight and Ravens flock. Hey, I think this is going this is us right here. This is what we can look forward to for the next however long the contract is going forward. We just got to build around it, keep building around it, and go get us a couple Super Bowls. So this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share. We're on the road to 10K. And we over here where the motto is FTMF, film then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And I'm out. Peace.